Should I sidestep, sidewalk or backdash in Tekken? How do I know when to step and when to backdash? These are very common questions among Tekken players. The truth is, you cannot have the same movement strategy against every character. Movement is matchup specific. You should analyze your opponent's move list and move based on that information. A good starting point is analyzing the opponent's uh, staple moves, for example their top 20 moves. You know they will use these moves often, so you should know how to deal with them. Here are a few things to consider before making a decision. How good are their homing moves? Maybe they are safe and very rewarding on block and on hit, or maybe they work only at a certain range. Some characters have really unsafe homing moves that you can bait out and punish. And then consider their tracking moves at range 0, range 1 and range 2. Does the character have a weaker side? If so, at what range? Maybe the character has great tracking up close, but very bad tracking at range 2, like Alisa. And then think about your opponent's range versus your own range. If you play Lily versus Brian, Lily will have an advantage because Brian struggles at range 2, while Lily is really strong at range 2. Let's look at Brian, for example. Brian has great tracking on his staple moves, like low soccer kick, back one, forward forward four, and he also has some tracking pokes. Brian is a pretty close range character that struggles with playing at range 2. He doesn't have many moves at this range, he even struggles with whiff punishment. You should be able to backdash away from him comfortably to block his highs and mids while looking for whiffs and low soccer kicks. Steve is even harder to deal with than Brian. Steve has super abusable tracking and homing moves and one of the best counter hit games in Tekken. He excels at close range. You should backdash against Steve as much as you can to get away from his pressure and preferably stay at range 2 where he's weaker. He also has pretty bad whiff punishment. Then we have characters like Lars. He's weak to his left and you should sidewalk right against him as much as you can. His staple moves are usually very vulnerable to sidewalk right. Sometimes moves like down forward 1 and down back 2 1 might clip you during a sidestep, but a sidewalk works much better. It's true that he has tracking moves like down back 4 and back 1, but down back 4 is launch punishable on block for a very small reward on hit, and so throwing out this move just to stop you from sidewalking puts Lars in too much danger. Back 1 is a safe mid, but once again, the reward is so small on hit and even on counter hit that Opponents still prefer looking for launch opportunities from sidewalks because the rest of his move list has such weak tracking. Back one is also minus 9 on block, so if it's blocked, Lars loses his momentum. Kazuya is similar to Lars. His staple moves like electrics, hell sweeps, forward 4-3, four, forward 4, etc. can be sidewalked to your left. Kazuya, like Lars, also has tracking and homing moves, but the reward is either too small or they are unsafe. Once you force Kazuya to use tracking moves like down forward 2 or while standing 2, you should stop sidewalking and bait out these homing moves to punish them. Down back 4 is a low poke that tracks to his weak side but it's just that, a low poke. Still, your successful sidewalk left into whiff punishes will deal more damage in total than Kazuya stopping you with down back fours. If a character has tracking moves that track to their weak side, you have to think about the risk reward ratio for you and for your opponent. 
We just talked about the risk reward ratio when Kazuya uses down back 4, and we talked about Lars's back 1 and down back 4. The risk reward ratio is always in their opponent's favor. You might get counter hit launched by Lars's down back 4 once in a while, but usually he only gets normal hits. Now let's say a Lars player does down back 4 5 times in a set. You get hit by it 4 times, but the next time he does down back 4, you block the down back 4 on read and launch him for a 75 damage combo. With 4 down back 4s on hit, he dealt 7, uh, I mean 68 points of damage in total, and then all the hard work was for nothing because you launch him the next time for 75 points of damage. Considering this, in that given set, using down back 4 didn't pay off for the Lars player. The Lars player then stops using down back 4 because he is scared and thus he loses one tracking move, giving you more opportunities for successful sidewalk rides in 2 whiff punishes. Now Noctis is a completely different case than the previous characters. He is most comfortable at range 2 with his long ranged moves and whiff punishers. So backdashing against him will only put you into a disadvantage. The famous Aura is a mid with great pushback, making it very difficult for you to punish it. It also has tracking at range 2 to both sides. Even his homing moves have good range. What you want to do against Noctis is to stay in his face as much as you can and sidewalk left against moves like Aura and down back 2. Aura is also likely to get punished when used at close range because it will have less pushback. Let's take a look at Alisa. Alisa has great pokes at close range. Down forward 1, forward 2, back 1, down back 3, etc. All of these moves have good tracking to at least one side. She also has one of the best magic throws in the game. A 13 frames fast, high homing move that is safe and it counter hit launches. Even her full crouch game has good tracking. For example, wall standing 1 plus 2 is a safe mid that gives a guaranteed follow up on hit and is also homing. What you want to do against Alisa? is backdash away from her to range 2. Her moves at this range are riskier, and most of them can be sidewalk to your left. For example, her famous running 2 and running 3 plus 4 mix-ups are sidewalkable. These were only a few examples of how you should think and strategize before facing different characters. Don't sidestep and backdash blindly, always move with a purpose in mind. And that's it for this video, I'll see you next time and take care!